Everybody, good afternoon. Welcome. Good Where afternoon, teacher. Welcome. Okay, how are you? Fine, thanks. Hi, I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. What about the rest? How are you guys? How's it going? Fine, teacher. Thank you. Excellent. Yeah, my pleasure. Fine. Thank you. Thank you, Enrique. Okay, uh, thanks for joining. We're going to start in a few seconds. I think the first thing that I'm going to do is, if it has attendance right, please, as soon as you listen to your name, say present. Okay, please. Adam Patrice. Present, sure. teacher. Thanks. Alexander. Yeah. Ana Silvia. Present. Thanks. Carolina Elizabeth. Carolina. Claudia Elizabeth. Present teacher. Thanks. Claudia Elizabeth. Claudia Elizabeth. Carlos Jose. Dalia Lilibet. Present teacher. Thanks. Dora Alice. Present. Thank you. Dike Guevara. Here. Thank you. Hazel. Present. Thanks. Jeremias. Present. Thank you. Joana Raquel. Present teacher. Jose Mario. Present teacher. Thank you. Kenya Salina. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Lady Yulisa. Lady Yulisa. Okay. Liana Amelia. Liana Amelia. Marina Tonabrio. Marina Sanabrio. I'm here. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. Marina Sanabrio. Ricardo Albino. Ricardo Albino. Sandra Melissa. And here, uh, teacher. Thanks. Para Esther. Para Esther. Present teacher. Perfect. Raya Lisbeth. Present teacher. Thanks. Stephanie Isabel. Vanessa. Vanessa. Ana Carolina. Present teacher. Thanks. Tatiana. Present teacher. Thanks. Leonel Hernandez. Here. Laura. Laura. Here. Alba Patricia. Present teacher. Thank you. I can see you, Vanessa. Welcome. Good afternoon. Present. Thank you. Eric Rivas. Eric Rivas. Michelle. Michelle. Michelle here. Not yet. Edgar Rufel. Not here. Okay. A one more time, welcome everybody. Good afternoon. Good uh, afternoon, think... teacher. Welcome, Sorry. Alexandra. Uh, I'm here. Excellent, thank you. Carolina, welcome. Carolina. Good afternoon, how are Present you? Excellent, teacher. Thank you. Okay, uh, I think must know MS now. You must not mention now. Okay. Look at those. We're going to start, everybody. This is class number six. Um, before to start, I just want to point out some important information, some details about the, the module, right? And specifically the platform, right? Yeah, so, quiero 
antes de iniciar, dar un par de puntos acerca de la plataforma. Recuerden que es muy importante hacer como se interacción en cada, en cada clase, ¿verdad? Que vayamos completando, completando cada sección. Pero como ustedes saben, podemos ir avanzando, podemos ir avanzando sin ningún problema a modo de ir completando, ¿verdad? Y por supuesto, practicar, practicar y completar ese porcentaje de la nota, ¿verdad? Que se, en este caso es del 80%, arriba del 80%. Pues que la importancia es esa, ¿verdad? De completarla. Y pues uh, ayer específicamente he estado dando seguimiento. Ayer eh, recibí um, un par de mensajes, un par de mensajes, ¿verdad? Indicaciones en ese caso con respecto a, a ese módulo que es pre-intermedio 1. Y en específico, bueno, algunos participantes me, me han comentado que no. No, no han empezado con la plataforma, así es que el llamado nuevamente, así como lo dicen en el grupo, ¿verdad? Eh, estoy tratando de contactar a uno por uno, ¿verdad? En este caso, los que me han comentado, ¿verdad? Que no han iniciado, no de, de contactarlos eh, de forma personal. Eh, pero sí hay algunos participantes que no han iniciado uno, no han iniciado uno con la plataforma. Es eh, que... Los voy a mencionar acá quizás para hacerlo más general, pues hacerle el llamado y, e invitarlo a que, a que hagamos, motivarlo siempre, ¿verdad? A seguir adelante y poder continuar y en este caso iniciar con la plataforma. Me mencionaron, bueno, para ese grupo solo hay cuatro participantes, los que no han iniciado. Dos de ellos no están acá ahorita en la sesión, pero no se unan. Pero en el caso suyo, me mencionaron su, a su nombre, Jeremías Rivas. No sé qué le ha pasado. Porque me mencionaron que no, ayer, no, no ha iniciado. No sé qué le ha pasado. Jeremías. Teacher, yo ahora ya terminé la sección 1. Oh, ok. Perfecto, no se preocupe. Solo le estamos dando seguimiento, ¿verdad? Y pues, en ese caso me dieron la indicación a mí, pues hay que darle seguimiento, ¿verdad? Entonces, por eso le, eh, le quería preguntar acá directamente, porque eh, va a ser bien difícil a veces en el grupo. E sí. Igual, contactar eso de forma personal. Bueno, lo iba a hacer, lo iba a hacer, porque soy uno por uno en ese caso, eh, darle seguimiento. Y pues, si es el caso, no sé. Eh, si usted empezó y ya completó la sesión 1, excelente. Y como les mencioné. Sí, sí. Okay. Ahora, ahora, la, terminé a las 11, como a las 11 y algo terminé. Ok, perfecto. Thank you, Jeremías. Igual. Sí, usted. Sí, yeah, yeah, no problema. Igual, lo que les mencionaba en el grupo, ¿verdad? Que eh, igual en esa indicación que se me dio, información que se me envió, y también eh, les comentaba que. Hasta ese día, como ese día terminamos la semana en sí, ¿verdad? Porque es el lunes a jueves las clases. Eh, hasta ese día tienen que ustedes en el completado hasta la sección 2. Con la, la indicación, ¿verdad? Que se nos da. Y pues les transmito a ustedes. Ya les viene completado hasta la sección 2 ese día. ¿Okay? Eso es en general, ¿verdad? Ok. Eh, I can see Lady. Hello, Lady. Michelle, welcome. Good afternoon. Hello. Thank you for joining. How are you? How are you today? I'm good. A I little busy, but good. Oh, okay. I see. Thank you for joining. Thank you for your time. Oh, yes. I can see. You're welcome. I can see Laura too. Welcome, Laura. Hi, teacher. Good afternoon. Hello. Good afternoon. How are you? I'm fine, teacher. Thank you. Glad to hear that. Thank you, too. Okay, we're going to start with the class. No sé si hay dudas o preguntas con respecto a la, a la plataforma. No otra question, teacher. Thank you. Okay, esa es el, la invitación, ¿verdad? Para todos eh, a seguir trabajando, trabajando mucho más, practicar mucho más en la plataforma. 
a modo de, de ir completando, ¿verdad? Completar toda la plataforma al finalizar, obviamente, eh, todo el módulo. Ese día, pues, finalizamos la semana. Recuerden que los viernes son libres, que no hay clases hasta la próxima semana. La próxima semana, el, el lunes específicamente, yo voy a estar, eh, pues, acá explicando un poco el meter. Recuerden que ya el martes lo vamos a hacer. Eh, los que ya lo hicieron, pues, que hemos avanzado, excelente. Eh, pero sí voy a explicar, porque siempre se debe hacer eso, explicar un día antes el caso del meter, explicar cómo está seccionado, eh, qué deben ustedes bueno, ir completando, ¿verdad? O sea, ciudad, que todo es en orden. Y en caso, obviamente, si tienen alguna respuesta eh, que les ha dado problema, les ha salido mal, ustedes pueden hacer intentos intentar nuevamente y, y, y en, caso, en ese caso tienen la respuesta por ahí. Es que, por eso no en la por ahí. lección 2, teacher, en la 2.1. ¿Ya? ¿Has tenido problemas ahí? Sí. Sí, ahí he tenido problemas. 2.11. 2.11. 2 2.12 me parece. ¿Para esa? No, oh, oh, no es oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, my bad. Me he equivocado, me metí al otro. Te decía yo. Espérame. Esta, ahí sí. Acá, ¿verdad? Yes. Esa, sí, esa. Ok. ¿Cuál, cuál ha sido la, la dificultad que he tenido? En el, en el audio que aparece ahí. Oh. Como hay que escuchar lo que... Ok. Y, bueno, lo que les recomiendo acá no son los, los audios, porque es un solo audio. Y es, tenemos acá 12 ítems, ¿verdad? 12 ejercicios. Lo que les recomiendo acá, siempre que tengan un audio, Carlos, ¿verdad? Precisamente, y siempre las respuestas van en orden. Van en orden. Lo que ustedes deben de estar acá, según las instrucciones, eh, escucha Rooney, Tina y Helen, en Ellen, sorry, hablar sobre sus horarios diarios. Complete la información para cada persona. Esa es la nota, ¿verdad? Deben de escribir los números en letras. Acá ustedes solo van a escribir el número. Por ejemplo, seven. Pero letras. Así es que escuchemos nuevamente el audio. Escuchemos nuevamente el audio. Si tiene alguna dificultad con el audio, me avisa y, y pues le, le, le puedo ayudar. ¿okay? Si guste, lo podemos escuchar acá. No sé si me prefieren así o. Se puede, sí se puede. Claro, claro, permítanme. Sí. Ahorita. Agrego el audio. Ok, me dices que escucho el audio. Listen to Rodney, Tina, and Ellen talk about. Can you? Yes. Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay. Yes. Vamos yes, a, teacher. Vamos a escuchar el primero, solo el primero, okay? Acerca de Rooney. Rooney. Que las preguntas son de la 1 a la 4 para él. Para Tina son de la 5 a la 8. Para Ellen. De la nueve a la doce. Es en Tironi. No me permitió. Dale acá. Listen. Listen to Rodney, Tina, and Ellen talk about their daily schedules. Complete the chart. What do you do, Rodney? I'm a chef. Hey, that's great! So, 
What are your work hours like? They're okay. I work in the afternoons and evenings. I get up around 9 a.m. and I work from 11 a.m. until 10 p.m. I get home fairly late, about 11 p.m., and I'm usually in bed by 1 in the morning. And what do you do, Tina? Well, I'm in... Three is Ronnie. Three is Ronnie. Number one, for example, at, at the beginning, at the beginning, the person asks Ronnie. Nine. Yeah. So, but the person, right? Ronnie, yes. So at the beginning. I'm a chef. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. So Ronnie yeah. said, I'm a chef. I'm a chef. I'm a chef. What time does he get up? He gets up at? Get up at nine. 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 Listen again. What do you do, Rodney? I'm a chef. I'm a chef. Hey, that's great. So, what are your work hours like? They're okay. I work in the afternoons and evenings. I get up around 9 a.m., and I work from 11 a.m. until 10 p.m. Exactly. He gets up at 9. 9. So in this it's case, 9 a.m. 9 a.m. Okay, perfect. Yeah, so you can write just the, the, the number in letters, right? Number in letters. It can be just 9, or you can, in this case, you can include a.m., right? I think. It, it is okay if you include it, if you include it at nine. Then we have number three, he gets home at? I get home fairly late, about 11 p.m. 11. Yes, 11 p.m. 11. Okay, so that is the order. So then it says he goes to bed at? And I'm usually in bed by one in the morning. Listen again. Until 10 p.m. Listen. I get home fairly late, about 11 p.m., and I'm usually in bed by 1 in the morning. Exactly. He goes to bed one in at the morning. 1, in, 1 in the morning. Yes. Okay? So that's for Ronnie from 1 to 4. From 1 to 4. Okay? That's the way. So, like I said before, se debe de seguir el orden. En orden. Así es como usted obtiene las respuestas. Acá les voy a mostrar las opciones que ustedes pueden escribir. Ahorita les muestro. Para que ustedes se, 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 se fijen. Acá está la respuesta de la primera. Acá. La segunda puede ser solo 9 o pueden escribir 9 a.m., como lo mencionaba la compañera. La segunda, la tercera, perdón, 11, 11 p.m. Ambas respuestas, si ustedes ponen sobre 11, les va a tomar correcto. Entonces, ustedes ponen 11 p.m., pero p.m. de esa forma, punto m punto. Y la última, solo 1, 1 a.m., 1 a.m. Tenemos esas tres opciones, si ustedes pueden escribir. Son las respuestas de la primera. Y ahora, pues, les va a caer el trabajo a ustedes. Los que no hemos completado ese artículo, ¿verdad? Ver con nosotros. Escuchamos el audio cuidadosamente. Lo escuch escuchamos una, dos o tres veces para que ustedes comprendan, ¿verdad? Esa es la forma, ¿ok? Ok. Ya. Yeah. Very good. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Ok, let's continue with the class. What is the topic for today? Some expressions. And by the way, let me see if somebody else join us. Um, no, okay. All right, the, the topic for today is time expressions. Today is Thursday, July 22nd. This is class number six. Let's start. When we refer to time expressions, we have different, different, you know, expressions that we can use in this case uh, in order to specify a uh, let's say time or specifically tenses, right? Yesterday, we were talking about the simple present. present. Let's begin with the following part. Here we have some 
prepositions of time, specifically at, on, and in. I'm gonna focus on those prepositions. Those are prepositions of time. At, on, in. Okay? What is, let's go one by one. Let's begin with at. Listen, a preposition can tell us a position, in this case, can tell us a, a specific, on a specific time, right, etc. So that's the function of a preposition, okay? So they tell us, they uh, represent, or they express on a specific time, okay? Let's go with at first. At, this preposition is used to discuss at a specific time, including a section. We have an exception, which is night. As we know, the parts of the day, in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening, but we don't say in the night. We say at night. That is the section. That is the section, right? We say at night. At night. For example, let's see the following instructions with that. At plus and a specific time. And we have the other one, which is at plus a holiday period. We have two examples per, per each, right? For example, I get up at seven o'clock. That is at a, a specific time. The movie starts at 8.30 p.m. or p.m. Depends. At that's a holiday period. When we say holiday period, we're referring to Christmas, Thanksgiving, Halloween, etc. They sing carols at Christmas. Tom and visit us at Thanksgiving. That's the, the function of the preposition at. So we use it to discuss at a specific time. Okay. The first one. Let's go with in. In, or let's go with on because that is next. On. So this is the, the way we use it. On. This proposition is used to discuss certain days of the week or portions of days of the week. For example, we have these two structures on plus days. So it can be on Saturdays, on Tuesdays, on Fridays, on Sundays, etc. On plus dates, that is the second one. Dates is different because let's say, for example, on July 22nd, on December 25th, etc. Let's see some examples. I will be see you on Wednesday. So that is on plus a day. Where were you on Friday? Where were you on Friday? On Friday, again, on plus a day. Let's go now with on plus days. His birthday is on March 27th. The exam is on the 16th. Okay? So here we're expressing dates. That is the function of on. The preposition on. And as you can see, when we use these prepositions, we place them at the end of a sentence. At the end of a sentence. Let's go now with in. We use in to discuss general times of day. Like I said before, we had different parts of the day, right? We say in the morning, in the afternoon, and in the evening. It, except night. So in this case, we can we not use in the night. We don't say in the night. We say at night, right? Months and years. We cannot use in with months. I mean, th there are some exceptions, right? We cannot use months or in this case, years, right? We can use years as well. For example, we have here different structures. In plus months. We can say just in and the month, only that, in and the month. It's different with the preposition on. With the preposition on, we say uh, on, we say the month, I will say a date. 
this is the date, 27. So in that location, in that form, we can use it on with a month in the date. But in this case, it's just the month in and the month. For example, my birthday is in January, only that. My birthday is in October. My birthday is in December, only that. In plus years, for example, we can say 1994, 2021, 2010. Let's see an example. Oh, let's see another example with months. I'm going on vacation in August. Only that, in plus a month. Let's see some examples with years now, in plus years. Shakespeare was born in 1564. In 1564. The Titanic sank in 1912. The Titanic sank in 1912. Let's, those are the first two structures with in. Let's go with two more. In plus the article da plus a decade. When we say decades, we're referring to the 90s, 80s, 70s, 2000, etc. For example, life was difficult in the 1940s. 1940s. That is a decade. The 40s. There were many hippies in the 60s. There were many hippies in the 60s. In the 60s. Next, in plus the article da in a century. When we refer to a century, we say, for example, right now we are in the 21st century, right? 21st century. Signals. We are living in the 21st century. It was built in the 6th century. Then we have more structures. In plus a season. When we say season, we're referring to summer, winter, spring, autumn. So we can say we go to the beach in the summer, in the summer, or just in summer in this case, right? Because it's in plus the season, in summer. There are many flowers in the spring, in the spring. And the last one is in plus a time period. When we say a time period, we, we say, for example, in 10 minutes, in two hours, in 10 years, etc. So we can say the meeting starts in 10 minutes. The class, the class starts in 15 minutes. In, and then the time period, 15 minutes. And the last one, she will be here in three hours. She will be here in three hours. That's the way we use prepositions of time. Okay. I would like to know if you have any questions over here, guys. Please tell me. No, teacher. I'm good. Excellent. I have a question. Sure, tell me. What it what it means, carols, in the oh. in the. Yeah. So those are as we call them, Christmas carols. Mm -hmm. For example, when when you when people uh, sing those famous uh, songs, right? Like, for example. Uh, we wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. Those are Christmas. Biancicos. Exactly. Gracias. Thank you. It's a pleasure. Those are Christmas cows. Somebody else? Questions? It's okay. Thank you. Can I move on? Can I move on to the following slide? Okay. 
Okay, moving on. Let's go now with something that is called average of time. Okay, we already saw prepositions of time. Now let's go with average of time and they are time expressions. What is an average of time? An average of time or average of time tell us when a verb takes place. Okay, so it modifies, it modifies the verb. It describes the verb. We usually, we usually place address of time at the end of a sentence. But it depends because in some cases vary, it varies. We can place uh, in some cases the, the address after the subject, okay? Let me show you some examples. Give me a second. Oh, thank you, Carlos. Hello, hello, Carlos, welcome. Are you, Carlos? Good afternoon. We are having a time expressions in this class. Carlos, we already explained the purposes of time. No sé si escuchó la explicación acá. Carlos? Let me know, please. Carlos? Alguien más se nos ha unido, perdón. Veo 27 participantes ahorita. ¿Qué más se unió? Oh, Eric. Hello, Eric. Yes, Good afternoon. Teacher. Okay. How are you? Everything okay, Eric? Yes, I'm fine, teacher. Amazing. Eh, no sé si escuchó la explicación anterior, las preposiciones. Sí, sí, sí. Ok, excelente. Si tiene preguntas, te lo diga. No question, DJ. Ok, y por cierto, aprovechando, eh, así directamente les pregunto acá, igual no se preocupe, quisiera saber si ha iniciado con la plataforma. ¿eh? Eh, por el momento aún no, pero sí, esta semana pienso ponerme al día. Sí, porque eh, ayer nos comunicaron, nos indicaron de que había algunos participantes que no habían iniciado, entonces que le están los seguimientos para que ustedes puedan... Este, Empezar, ¿verdad? Y, y que todo pues, sea en orden. Y ya sí, que... Me mandaron, sí, sí, me incluso... mandaron un mensaje. Y, Exacto. Y sí, y les contesté. Excelente. Sí, porque vieron lo que nos informaron. Nos dijeron que bueno, les, les transmitiéramos, les dijéramos que ah, ahora tenían ustedes para avanzar hasta la sesión 2 en la plataforma. Pues si usted ha, ha expuesto su caso, en este caso con. Pues, ya con, los, con las autoridades de inglés deportivo, ¿verdad? Con quienes se contactaron con usted, si usted ha explicado su caso, pues igual le invito a que pueda iniciar lo antes posible, de que probablemente esté ocupado, eh, pero sí debemos seguir iniciando, ¿verdad? Y contestando la forma. ¿Qué cosa estamos acá a la orden? Y gracias por unirse. Ok, teacher. Thank you. You're welcome. Yo sí okay. tengo una pregunta de la plataforma, pero mejor se la hago después. Hubo un ejercicio que no lo pude completar, me da error. Oh, excellent. See, sí. mm -hmm. yeah, Después sure. You, mm -hmm. you can ask me, yeah, no problem. Let's continue. Okay, now we're talking about average of time. Like I said before, we use average of time for they tell us what, when a verb takes place, right? Like I said before, this algorithm can describe the verb, can modify the verb. And these ones, they usually, they usually, uh, they are placed, they are placed at the end of the sentence. But in some cases they vary. You can place them at, at the beginning, almost at the beginning, I would say. Uh, like this example, we say re re recently, we recently bought a new car. So this is the, the other time, recently. You can see this one is placed almost at the beginning because it goes after the subject, but the sujeto, right? but most of the, in most, most of the cases, we use the adverse at the end of the sentence, like this example, I have to go now, I have to go now. So now it's a number of time, now it's a number of time. And here we have more examples of adverse of time, already, ago, before, yet, never, recently, during, 
sometimes, today, so far, soon, yesterday, lately, just tomorrow. Those are adverbs of manner. Time I have time. a question. Yeah, tell me. So far, it's only, uh, we can use only to, um, to refer uh, in time or on time. No sé cómo explicarlo, pero si se refiere solamente eh, para especificar como tiempos, porque yo he leído o incluso he, he dicho, digamos, por ejemplo, eh, está muy lejos, pero se, re, pero se puede usar como refiriéndose a espacio. Yeah. So far. Mm -hmm. It is so far. Ah, It okay. is so far from me, for example. Referring ah. to a place, referring to a person, etc. Okay, thank you. Yeah. You're welcome. Somebody else? Questions? Thank you. We can include the, the average of time in sentences, right? Right now we're using the simple present. Let me give you some examples. See, I'm going to use before. You can say, I have to do my homework before classes. The other, the classes. Uh, when we use, listen, in this case, in these um, cases, we tend to use adverse manner. Adverse manner. They express time, right? Time, the frequency of the activities. Uh, for example, you say never. I never, um, what? I never go to bed uh, at 12, for example. 12 a.m. I never. So now, never, as you can see, is placed almost at the beginning after the subject because these are always a manner. Always, sometimes, uh, often, never, hardly ever. Those are always a manner. And we use them as adverse of time. They express a time. Uh, for example, another one, we can say, I have a meeting. I have a meeting today. I have a meeting today. Another one can be, I already did my homework. I already did my homework. So it means that you finish. Finish with a homework. And lately is similar to recently. Recently. Another one is, yeah, I'm going to use, um, well, some of them are used, are used in different uh, tenses. Those are for future, those are some of the songs for, for past form, for past tense, for past tense specifically. Uh, for example, a go. This is, you know, an extra example because right now we just a simple present. But a go, for example, is used for simple pass. We say, I, I study French five years ago. But this is for simple pass, right? This is extra. I studied Francais hace cinco años. Okay, so this is the, the expression. This is the adverb, a go. Hey, Jose, yeah. Teacher, una pregunta. Este, en una entrevista de trabajo, ¿cómo sería para contestar? What do you mean? Por ejemplo. En una, supongamos en una entrevista de trabajo y te entrevisten en, en inglés. Pero, ¿a qué se refiere exactamente? Perdón. No, que solo necesito una, una idea que dice, oh. vaya, supongamos que me llaman para una entrevista. ¿En inglés? Ajá, me llaman una entrevista y 
Ajá, y me, y me dicen, hablen inglés para medir su tiempo, si puede inglés o no le damos el trabajo. Supuestamente así va. Y por lo general, con, en las entrevistas les hacen ciertas preguntas. Preguntas. Eh, la más común, tell me about yourself. En esas preguntas, lo que debe hacer es que, pues, hablar de C y dar aspectos importantes acerca de lo que usted hace, es problemas de sus pasatiempos, etc. Eso es lo que usted, pues, básicamente lo que podría contestar en esa pregunta. Esa es la más común. Tell me about yourself. I am Hugo Vázquez. Sí, así me... Sí, así me hicieron, me, bueno, me llamaron por una entrevista y me hicieron la pregunta que acaba de decir usted. Sí. Y ya sí. me confundió. Eh, another one is like, what, why do you, do you want to work here? ¿Por qué te gustaría o por qué quisieras trabajar acá? Este, así. Para mi idea que... Yo digo que es de practicar, ¿va? pero yes. en realidad yes. este, hay unas preguntas que son bien confusas. Sí, sí. Lo que debe de ser usted, como usted lo mencionó, practicar. Ese sería mi, mi consejo, practicar. Eh, no dejar de practicar, ¿verdad? Y actuar natural. Actuar natural. Sé que es bien difícil al, al principio, es bien difícil. Pero es de actor natural, como que estuviera hablando español. Porque si usted está pensando todo el tiempo, eh, ¿qué voy a decir? ¿Qué voy a decir? Eso le, le, hace, no, le, le, le hace difícil. Es difícil. Eh, igual, mi consejo para todos es pensar en inglés y siempre hablar en inglés. Okay. Porque si estamos con el pensamiento o, o en ese caso pensar en español, hace bien difícil. Traduciendo palabras. No es recomendable estar traduciendo palabras. Ok. Ok. Yeah. Thank you. Very good. Yeah, Enrique, this is another question. How do you see yourself in five years? Yes. That is a future question. Yeah. Very good. You're welcome, uh, Jose. And thank you, Enrique. All right. Uh, questions over here, guys? No question. Thanks. Okay, let's see more examples. We, and we use the, the time expressions, right? The time expressions. And we have here the, the prepositions and we have the adverbs, right? For example, I get up at seven. We can say this, I get up at seven in the morning on weekdays. As you can see here, we are combining prepositions and we, in some cases we have adverbs, right? So right here, right here, we have just prepositions. I get up at seven, say in the morning on weekdays. So this is the first preposition, second, and we have this one. I get up at seven in the morning on weekdays. That's the first one. I leave work early in the afternoon on Thursdays. I leave work early in the afternoon on Thursdays. So in this case, we, we have a, this is an adverb another time, early. Have the preposition here, and we have another preposition. Early is another of time, another verb, early. Okay. I go to bed around 11 in the evening on weekday, weeknight, sorry. We go to bed around 11 in the evening on weeknights. Another one. So here, around 
So in this case, it's acting as, a, as an adverb. An adverb in the preposition and on this another preposition, right? Teacher, I, I have a question. Yeah, tell me. With night is the first time I see that word. Yeah, so in this case, we're referring to, yeah, when we say the week, you know, the week uh, from Monday to Sunday. But it means that every day, every night, every night, weeknights. Aha, uh -huh. o sea, I mean, eh, eh, mi, mi pregunta es, es porque es la, se nos está enseñando el inglés británico, porque yo diría every night. Yo hubiese puesto every night, o sea, yeah. porque... Uh, esa es la diferencia. No, no, I mean, this case, oh, that's, a, uh, that's another way to, to express like every uh, night. Okay. You mm -hmm. can say weeknights. Week it's the first time I, saw, I see that. Yeah, like weekdays. Weekdays is another one. Like mm -hmm. every day, okay. every day. Okay. That's another way to refer to, to that. Yeah. Okay. Thank Sorry. you. You're welcome. Yeah, when you say, for example, every night, so you can say weeknights or, or every Every day, we can refer to a okay. weekdays. Okay. Another example, thank you for asking. I get home late at night on weekends. I get home late at night on weekends. Late. It's a preposition. I'm sorry, it's an adverb. At and on are the prepositions. Late is another adverb of time. So late is the opposite of early. Early, right? Early and late. They are opposites, right? Late. Next, I step up. I step up until midnight on Friday. I stay up until midnight on Fridays. Again, this is an average time until, and this is a preposition. Okay. I exercise before noon, for noon on Saturdays. Again, before, before is an average of time, on is the preposition. And the last one, I wake up afternoon on Sundays. After is another average of time, and on is the preposition. This is a way we can combine them. We can combine them, we can use more than a, one or two prepositions in a, in a sentence. Like this one, right? I get up. Seven in the morning on weekdays. So we're using three prepositions. You can do it. And then we have here expressing clock time. Clock time. You can say seven. I get up at seven. This up. I get up at seven. So it is understandable that it's in the morning, right? But if you want to be more specific, you can say I get up at seven a.m. or at seven p.m. Probably. I don't know. Probably you are taking a nap in the evening. You can say, I get up at seven again, but this in this case, it's in letters. If you're reading, writing something, you're writing sentences, you can write in letters. Or you can say, I get up at seven o'clock. Seven o'clock. Then we can say, seven a.m. equals seven in the morning. Seven a.m. or seven in the morning. It's okay, both are correct. Seven p.m. or seven in the evening, seven in the evening, okay? This is a way we express time, this time. We use the time expression. In this case, prepositions of time and hours of time, okay? More questions? No, no, it's okay. Solamente no quería preguntarle algo, si podía... Yeah. Y al final de este, si podía poner la pantalla anterior, porque le quería sacar un screenshot yeah, para guardarlo. Sure. Ajá. Sure. Ah, ok, ahorita lo voy a sacar, gracias. Porque yeah. no, para estudiarlo después. No problem. Gracias. You're welcome. Somebody else, questions?
No question, teacher. Thank you. Yeah, remember that you can take notes in your notebooks. I know that you have notebooks or agendas or another thing. Or probably you're in, the, in your computer, you take notes in your computer, you type in a Word document or a, in a, I don't know, log the notes, etc. And also you can take a screenshot if you want to take it for us. It's okay. All right. Can I move on? Sorry. Open up. Let's go to the following part. Now let, it's time to practice. What I want you to do, you need to write at least six sentences about, oh, sorry, my bad. In this case, you have to write six sentences and you need to use the time expression. Let me fix it. Let me fix it. Thank you. Oh yeah, sorry. Write at least six sentences by using time expressions. Remember that we have to use simple present, right? Because uh, we are talking about that simple present. So talk about your habits, your routines, etc. Right? And I need you to talk about you, and you can include your family members, friends, etc. Listen to the examples. I go to work at seven o'clock. My brother goes to the gym in the afternoon. My birthday is on October 15th. I have lunch after class. Sam leaves work early in the afternoon on Fridays. My mother goes to bed around 11 on Saturdays. Please, follow the examples. In your notebooks, write six sentences. And you have to use some expressions. Then after you finish, please. Let us know. You can raise your hands or just tell me in the microphone. I said it or in the chat. It's okay. Go ahead. I will give you a few minutes. Teacher, yeah? excuse me. Help me. Can you show me um, one more time the expression? Uh, this one? Yeah. This is like? Yes? No. Or oh, the previous one. Uh -huh. Anterior? This one? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And I get up. Can I move on to the examples? Puedo moverme la siguiente diapositiva de los ejemplos. O siguen acá. Yes, teacher, ya puede moverse. Sí, gracias. Okay, okay, yeah. Okay, remember, follow the examples.
questions. Are you ready? No. Not yet? Not yet. Mm -hmm. I really okay. Okay. No worries. I'm ready to share. Because Perfect. I have a question. Sure, tell me. Is correct write two expressions together? For example, for example? For, for example, my my daughter goes to bed until before play. Until four. Uh -huh. mm, no. No. Probably you can say. My daughter. Mm -hmm. Goes to bed. Until. She finishes. Her game probably or not. Or okay. after he finishes playing, sorry. Until sorry, until he finishes playing. Okay, thank you, teacher. Yeah, you're welcome. Teacher. Yes. It's correct to say I work on Monday until at 7 p.m. Until Oh, you can say just until seven, until seven, uh -huh. not at. No, at. Yeah. Uh, yeah. No. Okay. Yes. Thanks. You're welcome. In this way, I work until seven weekends. Okay, do I have volunteers? I will listen to you. I need you to give me, you know, at least three examples. Three examples for the time expression. I go okay. to war yeah. at eight in the club. Okay. Another one? Give me one, one more. Otro más. 
My birth sign is A. Yeah. But again, sorry. Can yeah, right? My Begin. brother sometimes eat pizza. Okay, my brother. Correct. Yes, my brother sometimes eats pizza. Yeah. Okay. My brother sometimes eats pizza. Very good, Kenya. I get up at five minutes before five in the morning every day. Okay, repeat again, Anastasia. I get up at five minutes before five in the morning every day. At five minutes, right? At five minutes? At five minutes before five in the morning every day. Okay. Teacher. Give me a second, give me a second. Five minutes before five, you say, right? I get up at five minutes before five. Okay, very good. Okay, I'm thinking about it because you can say, I get up at five minutes before five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At five to five, you can send this way. At five to five, what is the, the other compliment? In... in the morning, every day. In the morning, every day. You can send this way, Ana Silvia. Uh -huh. We use at, right. and we'll say five to five. Think okay. for la cinco. Oh. In the morning, every day. You can send that way, Ana Silvia. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Ana Silvia. Who said t-shirt? I can do a t-shirt. Me, teacher. And me as uh, yeah. Sí, le iba a preguntar si me podía retirar ya porque necesito ir a hacer un mandado con mi mamá. Oh, yeah, it's okay. We're going to finish uh, just in a few minutes, but it's okay. It's okay, no problem. Thank no, you. Said, teacher. Uh -huh. uh, see you tomorrow. I know. See you next class, Monday. next week. Mm -hmm. Yeah, next week. Mm -hmm. No problem. Bye bye. See you soon. Bye. Uh, well, I will listen to more. Two more participants because yeah, it's almost time. Uh, my, sorry, my and then Dalia. My son wash his hand before it. Repeat again. My son wash his hand before it. Before eating. Before eating. eating. Okay, thanks. Yeah. Okay, thanks. And you say washes, washes his hands before eating. Okay. I ate ice cream yesterday. Yes, I ate ice cream yesterday. Very good. Uh, Soraya. My daughter and I birthday on February. Oh, okay. Listen. My, My daughter yeah, my daughters. Daughters. My daughter's birthday and mine okay. are in what was the month? February. February. So you can send this place, right? My daughter's wow. birthday and mine are in February. Okay. Yeah. Very good, Saraya. Thank you. Thank uh, you. I will go with two, uh, more participants. Eric, give me one example. And then Katiana. Okay, teacher. I go to church early because I study in the afternoon and I run in the morning three, day, three time, times a week. Okay. Yeah. Thank you, Eric. Very good. Uh, Katiana. I sometimes go to visit my parents on weekends. Yes, very nice, thank you. And I will finish with a Claudia Lisa Brigue, please. Claudia Lisa. My daughter get up at 
6 a.m. every day? Yes, very good. Okay, just remember, Claudia, the bird, don't forget the bird, gets up. Yes, we saw yesterday, for present, the third person, she gets up. Don't forget the rule, please. Olvidamos la regla. Get up. Okay, very good. Well, listen, it's time, guys. I'm sorry, but I would like to do something. I would like you to, to show you examples in the chat if you want, please. And we're going to see the rest of your examples, right? Me gustaría hacer algo más. Sé que ya es hora. Pues no voy a poder escuchar los de los demás. Pero podemos compartir nuestras respuestas en el chat. En WhatsApp, específicamente. Te gustan. Para que veamos más ejemplos. Ya no se han escrito, ¿verdad? Que no sé si hay preguntas o dudas. Creo que Michelle se tenía una, una pregunta con respecto a un ejercicio. Ah, sí. Yo tenía una pregunta. Eh... Era el 2.10, creo que era. 2.10. 2.9 o 2.11, podría no. ser. 2.10, así lo tengo. Así lo... No sé si me equivoqué. Ah. Probablemente sea el 2.11, entonces. Porque el... Ah, entonces 2.11 sería. Me... Sí. Ah, no, permítame. En el... No, el 1.12, perdón. El 1.12. Es... 1.12. Sí, en el 2.10 me quedé, ya, ya vi. 1.12. Okay. Ajá, 1.12. Acá. Ajá, uno, dos. Esa, esa parte, yo, o sea, leí las instrucciones, respondí como tres veces y todas me salieron malas. ¿Puso respuestas cortas? Like, no, I'm not, por ejemplo. Ah. ¿Solo así? No, sí, la, creo que ese fue el error. Ajá, porque no, 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 acá, yes. acá arriba. Yes, no, no, sí, tiene razón. Long answers. Por ejemplo, no, sí. I'm not from the Ajá. United States. Ah, no, o sea, sí. Lo escribió así. Lo usé, no, I'm not, uh, no, I'm not, I'm from El Salvador, por ejemplo, y me salió mala. Oh, ok. Pues debe, uh -huh. debe, debe responderlas así. De seguir lo que está en la pregunta. Are you from the United States? Okay. Seguir esa misma información. Y contestar con respuestas largas. I'm not from the United States. La misma información. Okay. Yeah. Ah, ok. Ese en fue el error entonces. Yeah. En la segunda, el, no sé qué pasó ahí, pero quizás eh, la, los que estaban haciendo, ¿verdad? Los que pues, ven todo acerca de la plataforma, quizás ellos pusieron solo she, porque acá eso tiene que ser she, no he. Yeah, la, la pregunta dice, is your teacher from Canada? Or is your parent uh, about me, right? But in this case, if you write he, no se lo vas a como buena. Yo escribamos she. Esa es la respuesta correcta. Con she. Oh. Ajá. Ya, yeah. le digo porque probablemente le dé error si usted pone he. Por ejemplo, no, he, he's, he isn't from Canada. Se lo vamos a formar. Porque la respuesta es no, he isn't from Canada. Es la única. Y las demás sí debe de... No, she isn't from Canada. Ajá. Yeah. Yeah. ¿Está mal formulada la pregunta, entonces? No, no, o sea, la pregunta está bien. El, lo que sucedió fue que las personas que realizan o se encargan de, de caer la plataforma, como las respuestas se están en el sistema, las respuestas están en el sistema, eh, no o es sea, la respuesta de no, he is from Canada. Es decir, porque la pregunta dice, ¿Y si el teacher from Canada? Se está refiriendo a su, a su computador, ¿verdad? En este caso, mi persona, ¿verdad? Ajá. Entonces, algunos han puesto no, he is from Canada no se la toma como buena. Es porque la respuesta en el sistema ya está no, he is in Canada. Uh -huh. Se refiere a she. Ah, vaya. Yeah. Ok. Very okay. good. Well, um, well, guys, this is all for today. Thank you so much for being here. Si hay preguntas con respecto a la plataforma en general, eh, hagámoslo por medio del grupo, ¿ok? Vamos allá a la Teacher, teacher solo, con, solo confirmando para quedar clara con, con esta duda, nunca entonces debemos usar dos time expressions que, que estén juntas. Yeah. Okay. No. We never. Yes. Okay. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Eh, somebody else? Oh. 
Okay. Well, I appreciate your time, guys. Thank you so much. One more time. Can I see it? Oh. Thank you. Okay, okay. Well, thank, thank you. you again. Thank you, teacher, for your passion. Yeah, yeah. It's a pleasure. I want to wish you a great weekend. Good day. Stay safe, please. Enjoy your weekend. I'll see you next week. Next week, next Monday, specifically. Uh, take care a lot. Stay safe and blessings. See you next Monday. Bye bye. Thanks. Bye bye. Thank you. you. Goodbye. Have a nice weekend. Thank you. See you next class. Good to you. Sure. Bye bye.